Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find the factorial of the given number. So, how to find the factorial of a given number? Let's say there is a number given that is five, and we need to find the factorial of this number five. How to find? Simple guys. First of all, we'll take this five and multiply that with the five minus one. What is five minus one? Four. And we'll multiply this four with four minus one. What is four minus one? Three. And we'll multiply this three with uh, three minus one. That is two. Two with uh, two minus one. That is one. Finally, one. So five, four, three, two, one. If you have to find the factorial of this uh, five, we need to calculate five into four into three into two into one. Let's find it out. Five for the twenty. Twenty-three the sixty. Sixty to the one twenty. One twenty into one is one twenty. So one twenty is the factorial of the given number five. So now let's write a Java program to find the factorial of the given number. We'll take an input from the user, guys. Okay, let's take an input from the user. In order to take an input from the user, we need to create an object for the scanner class. In Java, if you have to collect some input from the user, we need to create an object for the scanner class like this. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. Now hover the mouse on scanner class and import it from Java dot util package. And this constructor cannot be empty. You need to provide that with system dot in system dot in as part of input. Now we need to ask the user to enter a number. Enter any number like this. When the user sees this particular message, you will try to enter a number. Let's say a user want to enter this number five. The number which is being inputted by the user need to be taken into this Java program. How to do that? By using this scanner object. Copy this scanner object here and call this method that is next int. Next int command of scanner class will take the numerical integer values from the user and will store this uh, int taken inputted number into a variable i'll i'll name the variable as num number or the mouse create local variable once we receive this number we need to write the logic for finding the factorial of the given number for that in order to find the factorial of the given number i will create a one more method guys that is in parallel to this main method i am going to create one more method public static return type i want to mention as int guys int factorial i'll name this uh, method as factorial method we can call this method from this main method factorial and this factorial will receive the number int n and here we can from this program we can call this factorial method like a uh, factorial of the given number we need to pass the given number that is num you have to pass this method calling statement will call this method and when this number reaches here what we have to do i'll write down if the given number the number sent from this uh, main method is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then we need to return 1 in case of 0 we need to return 1 otherwise otherwise we need to find the factorial how to do that you have to say return n into factorial of n minus 1 this is the logic guys this is a very important step in this complete entire program this is a very important step return n into factorial of n minus 1 so somehow it will return so what will happen let's say the user has inputted 5 what will happen 5 will be stored into this number factorial of 5 5 will be passed to this method that is n n will be holding 5 if 5 is equal to 0 no it will not return 1 since 5 is not equal to 0 the else block will be executed so return n is 5 5 into factorial of n minus 1 that is factorial of 4 5 into factorial of 4 that means this will call this method again this factorial of 4 will be calling this method again so 4 will be coming here for now 5 is there right 5 into factorial of 4 when factorial of 4 will be executed 
it will be like 4 is not equal to 0 hence n into n into that is 4 into this will become 4 into n minus 1 that is factorial of 3 factorial of 3 again this will call the same method again 3 is not equal to 0 so it will go to else block again this will become 3 into 3 into factorial of 3 minus 1 that is factorial of 2 now again this will call the same method 2 will be passed 2 is not equal to 0 so else block again so factorial of 2 is equal to 2 into 2 into factorial of 2 minus 1 that is factorial of 1 of 1 so again factorial of 1 will be calling this method 1 will be passed 1 is not equal to 0 so else block again that is factorial of 1 is equal to 1 into 1 into factorial of 1 minus 1 that is 0 factorial of 0 so factorial of 0 will be calling this method so n will have 0 so 0 is equal to 0 true this time so it will return 1 so this will be 1 so finally what is the result guys 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 5 for the 20 23 the 60 62 the 120 120 into 1 into 1 is 120 so we will get the result as 120 this 120 will be returned to this factorial of number this one is calling this uh, function right this function will be returning this 120 so where we have to store this 120 we can store like this int fact is equal to so here we have the factorial of the sent number okay we have called this factorial function with a number say 5 the factorial of 5 is being written by this factorial function that is 120 is written to this fact now we have to print it out system dot out dot print ln factorial of the given number what is the number guys this number plus num is what is the factorial this is the result is fact plus fact done now we are done with the logic guys this is the logic for finding the factorial of the given number that's fine but uh, there is one more thing to do we need to resolve this warning message you see resource leak scanner is never closed it is the best practice to close the unused objects once the task is done once you have taken the input from the user then we can simply close them it's not mandatory guys as part of the best practice and to resolve the warning messages we can write this kind of statements now the program is ready now let's run the program right click run as or directly run this so enter any number let's say user want to enter this number five when i enter the five and press enter factorial of the given number five should be printed factorial of the given number five is 120 what if i give three let's run it let's find out the factorial of the number three six correct three into two into one three to the six 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 into one is six so this program is perfectly working fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program for finding the factorial of the given number so that's it guys thank you bye